Hello and welcome to my F1 2021 Williams RTG career mode. Here today for the Canadian Grand Prix. Now after some pretty shocking races so far in this season 3. Hopefully Canada and Favourite Track we can do something. But let's get into the grid. It's Sergio Perez on pole position today and P2 goes to Daniel Ricciardo. A strong showing from the Australian. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Bottas, Lewis Hamilton and Norris, Sainz, Brown, Gasly and Yuki Tsunoda, Leclerc, Russell, Lance Stroll and Ocon, Vettel, Mick Schumacher and Guan Yu Zhou and Christian Lungard, Giovinazzi and Nikita Mazepin. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. So we're going to be doing a two-stop start on the softs and an end on the softs with medias in between. Did actually rain in qualifying, so eighth place was quite good for that. But let's get into it then, the five red lights, come on. Long harder, but we are underway, finally here in Canada. And it looks to be a good start by the two Red Bulls who have absolutely bolted away from Daniel Ricciardo. Started in P2. We try and send it to the outside, try and get past Lando Norris there. And we do. We gained one place so far through the third, the second chicane. Now through where uh, Brendan Hartley and Straw had a big crash once but I made a big mistake as I turned into the corner too early lost out to Lando again and and nearly to Yuki Tsunoda so we actually went back a place and for the first time in a long while I think I've actually lost places on the start since I've lost places at the start and now Yuki Tsunoda Charles Leclerc going wheel to wheel, Charles Leclerc trying to go down the inside of him. And let's go side by side as we climb up towards the final chicane in the world of champions. That's always waiting to collect someone. But he's another hold on. Just about to Ferrari and got a big, big key behind him. There's someone pitted there, but that was an Alfa Romeo in the background you may have seen but as the race went on it kind of developed into me being in this no man's land of it was too quick for Sonoda and this Charles Leclerc battle but I wasn't quick enough to stick with Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc sent, sent it very very late and got the job done Yuki Sonoda and now my teammate George Russell can have a go here, he's going to go to the outside and look at the Alpine goes straight down the inside and the Alpine's got all of them so far can he get the exit? yes he can and then the game decides to give me some horrendous camera angles and everyone else pretty much stayed the same but that's a great move by the Alpine Yuki Sonoda being absolutely mugged can he hold on though? Then he keeps right behind it, and no, he can't. He's absolutely not there. The energy store is getting worn, reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. I've actually, I've had enough of these issues. Some information on Norris. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. Right, so Lando had an issue, and we did start to catch him rapidly after that. But the ERS the energy store I've had enough of issues after Imola and after last time out in Monaco I just need to score some points <laughs> and just get to the end of this race but here we go on Lando Norris straight down the inside into the final chicane and job done he really is struggling with his car and now on to lap 10 into the pits we come because not really a lot happened after that as I was mentioning earlier we were just sort of in a no man's land <laughs> so we're going to pit to go on to the medium tyres and actually no the engine's smoking but that actually gave me so much anxiety 
and a big flashback. This is what happened, it was just a glitch. Just with the smoke as we come back out side by side with Sebastian Vettel and we get the job done on the egg gun. The exit kind on of the rocket past him. And we have another issue because the DRS now has DRS failed. There's a fault with the rear wing system. Stay out, we can work on a fix remotely. These issues are getting on my nerves now, but as long as the engine keeps going, it's fine. Eventually the DRS did fix itself. But now here comes Charles Leclerc all over the back of Lando Norris. He was really struggling. Lando tried to squeeze him then but couldn't. He couldn't quite stay ahead. And now the side by side got the chicane and Lando Norris backs out of that one. And then we were kind of in that no man's land again, but as we kind of came towards the end of this second stint, we started to catch Carlos Sainz. As Carlos Sainz pits now, because he's going to go on to another set of the medium compound tyres, whereas we are going a couple laps longer to, of course, go back on to the soft compound tyres. As, as Carlos Sainz rejoins just behind Lance Strong. So into the pits we come now to go back onto the soft tyres for our final stint of the Grand Prix. I knew we were going to fall a bit, a bit further back from Sainz but we should have the grip to recatch him and hopefully this time pass him. As we come out of the pits, Sainz is already up the road. But we're gonna come out side by side with Lance Stroll and we're gonna cut him back, swap him the dummy on the exit. And that was important, we needed to get strong quick. And there you can see Carlos Sainz. So a couple of later, we're on to lap 30 and we've managed to catch Carlos Sainz. We've passed Carlos Sainz as an LP and pulled off to the side. Pretty sure I got that job done before the yellow flags. Science is still there though, but it's too far back. But Science sends it down the inside. And Science is punished round and we've hit Science again there. As we go backwards. And now our, our tyres are cooked. We struggle to find some grip. But what is Science doing there? Now this is the replay here. Fair enough, he was lingering. I'll give him that, but look, here's, you can see, I'm turning into the corner, and look how far back he is. That gap was always closing, as you can see here, he hasn't even considered going for it, at that point, and then goes, and actually turns into us. And then, of course, we get spun round, go back into the track and clip him again. Someone's come off ahead of you. This is, ahead. when we overtook him, actually blitzed him through the chicane. And I don't know what to think of. Look how far back he was. But Sainz, really, what the hell was that? The crowd cheer could have hit him again. And that was an absolute joke. But he did have damage. And he did come into the pit to replace that front wing. Deserved. Absolutely deserved. I don't know what he was thinking and what he was doing there. Fair, fair enough, he was lurking, but... If you're going to go for it, you go for it earlier than that, while you're back out. I was already turning it to the corner before he decided to absolutely send it. And he's going to rejoin then in P12, just behind Lance Stroll. But it's going to be a win then for Sergio Perez. Domination for Perez. Hamilton's going to come over P2. Ricardo holds on for the podium. And of Bottas and Verstappen. And P. Gasly is going to come home for P6. And now we're going to come home as Lando Norris tries to send it into the final corner. On Charles Leclerc. Couldn't do that though. We're going to come home for P6. 
The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. That was very much a race of attrition, as Martin Brundle would say. We just had to bide our time. We spent most of that race in no man's land, but when everyone's tyres started to switch off, we still had that grip to attack. And that's really how we ended up battling Science at the end. But he did get the fastest lap, didn't score any points. I think he pretty much deserves that. I don't know what he was doing. I like Science, but honestly, what was he thinking? But the main thing is, we've finally got some points on the board. I feel like we had every issue in that race, but the engine popping, which is good. But we're going to do some engine upgrades and some durability as well. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Very much um, more dramatic than the last couple of episodes. Bit of a boring race for me, but it did kind of turn up in the end with that battle with science. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back next time for the British Grand Prix.